started this beauty mm -hmm. thing and mm -hmm. she had a salon and she started doing hair and of course makeup and, mm -hmm. and kimono um, dressing and then as she was doing this and she was doing weddings and brides she mm -hmm. decided you know hey you know I want kids how do you have kids well you have to have get married okay I want to get married to have kids and then <laughs> the arranged marriage thing came up and she had a 10-year contract with my grandfather we get married 10 years she wanted kids and mm -hmm. my grandmother and my grandfather was also a musician mm -hmm. and wanted to play the biwa and okay. have a concert or a live show and he needed money but he worked for the JR not to to be bad mouth JR or anything but his salary was about his one month salary was about what she made in a day is what gotcha. my father used to tell me so she was able to pay for his concert and so that was 10 years mm -hmm. 10 year contract can you imagine in that day and time plus he had to use her name that was the other thing right. and so he came in as a Yamano mm -hmm. and 10 years would come up and they would do another 10 years mm -hmm. and another 10 years mm -hmm. and another 10 years mm -hmm. but in the first 10 years they had six boys that's why they keep on doing it. She said, you're going to give me a girl. Yeah. Something. Well, you're going to give me a girl. <laughs> I want a girl. Right? And it wasn't happening. No girls. So six boys in 10 years. But by that time, he had started working with your, with, yes. with your grandmother. Yes. They started working they started together. together. She was more the educator, the talent. Mm -hmm, and he mm -hmm. was the business and the brains of bringing things together, mm -hmm. like making different beauty industries industries, mm -hmm. the um, state board test and a lot of associations to help the barber, well at that time beauty associations, mm -hmm. um, to promote um, the industry mm -hmm. and to help it grow. And so um, they made a great team. And so when the doors opened to the country and they, I mean, when the doors opened from Japan and they were able to travel mm -hmm. to outside of Japan, they saw the perm machine and you know they brought that back and then he designed a perm machine out in his home area in Nagano.